Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm putting together a shimmer wall. Um, I have only one box and it's from House of Party. This is not a sponsored video, but I'm attaching them with zip ties, as you can see. So I do like three across and I believe eight down. I'm showing you that there is a right way to install it and you don't you want to make sure you're not showing that clear backing. So notice how when I turned it, you don't see any of that clear backing. So I'm just continuing to add them on. Then I have to stop and then load my drapes on and then you'll see me later on adding more of it on. So this is polyester um, drapes, very stiff, holds wrinkles. So that's what I'm using for my base layer. It's perfect because it's not transparent, but you have to deal with those wrinkles. So I'm also loading on some four-way stretch, voil, and sequin mesh. Now the sequin is two feet by eight feet. So before I started draping, I bought different lengths of panels. So I don't advise you to buy eight feet panels, but I'll, I'm finding a way to utilize those panels. So I'm measuring, making sure both sides are the same width. I'm adding a valance. So I'm just pinning in three places. So I had to take the pin off to begin to fix the valance on that side. And I'm using pipe cleaners to hold it in place. And then you'll see me in the middle removing the pin. I add my pole covers on and now I'm about to get ready to lift it up. So the polyester is stiff. Um, holds holds wrinkles I have some of that in the center as well so I'm taking that directly to the pole and I'm keeping it nice and straight for my sequin in the middle I'm stepping back just to make sure it's nice and neat and it's not so I wanted it like a perfect V and I kept kept everything nice and straight also with the voile I'm keeping it nice and straight because that that's a fabric that doesn't have a whole lot of um, looseness to it, and it's not gonna give you swags. So I stopped and I'm just trying to add on the bottom, which is very, very difficult because I'm trying to do it from the front. So I'm moving on to adding swags, using my four-way stretch. I'm able to create these swags that you see. I secure them with pipe cleaners. I'm moving over to the other side, doing the same thing. Now I'm making my bottom nice and neat. For the center, um, I'm more so giving it a Hershey Kiss shape. I hate the way that it's folded at the bottom. Now here is another panel that's seven feet long and I'm finding a way to utilize that. So notice how I kind of decorated my center bottom with that. I have some sequin napkins, black napkins. So I'm using that to tie it to the poles. So in this design, I was able to utilize some of my shorter panels. I also utilize polyester, which I don't buy polyester because it's so stiff and it holds wrinkles but you can still use it in your design and I did give it some steam for that base layer right here I'm gonna slow it down I just want to make sure when you all are using I just want to make sure you all know that when you're using one color you want to bring in texture that's why I have polyester that's why I have sequin mesh that's why I have voil bring in the texture I feel like this design used a lot of innovation. I have never seen anyone use shimmer wall with draping. So please let me know what you think of this. I absolutely love this design. And I just thank you so much for joining me today. 
Until I see you next time. Bye.